Drag and Drop has been available on the iPad for several years, but only recently available on iPhone in iOS 15. Drag and Drop allows you to drag things like documents, texts, and images between apps. You no longer have to rely on the traditional copy-paste gesture. In this video, I'll walk you through how easy and quick it is to learn and do. Thanks for joining me on Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. I'd love for you to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Let's start with uh, dragging text from one app to another. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open the app where you want to select the text from. So in this case, I'm just going to open up Safari and I have it already um, on a web page. I'm going to go ahead and select the text that I want to use. And if you now push and hold on that text, you'll see that it hovers on the screen and you can drag that text wherever you want it to go. So I'm going to use my thumb and swipe up halfway on the screen and you'll see that I've come into the app switcher. At this point, I can use another finger and just swipe through the apps and find the one I want to use if it's opened or I can come all the way over and I can uh, tap on the screen, swipe over and come into the app library. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and come back to the app switcher and I have the notes app already opened. I'm going to tap on the notes app and you'll see my text is still underneath my finger. I've still held on to it and I'm going to tap on a new note in the bottom right corner. A new note is going to open and at this point I'm going to go ahead and drop the text. You can see that a plus sign is located in the upper right corner of the text. I'm going to drop it and now that text has been added to a new note. I can tap on done, I can name the note and move on from there. Using the same technique I just showed you, you can drag and drop things like audio files, video clips, PDFs, and, and other documents. Let me show you how easy that is to do. I am going to open up my files app and I'm going to locate a, a PDF that I want to send via email. So if I go ahead and I push on the PDF, and then just start moving it around so it hovers on the screen. Again, I'm going to use my thumb to swipe up from the bottom and I'm into the app switcher again. But let's say this time I am going to come over to the app library instead. I'm going to locate my email app, which is Spark, and it's the little blue icon that kind of has like a rocket ship. So I'm going to use my thumb, keep holding on to the document, tap on that and once I tap on Spark when it opens you'll see down in the right hand corner it basically says drop the file here and when I do it opens up a new email and I can send this to anybody and you'll see that the document has been attached. So that's how easy it is to use drag and drop on the iPhone to send documents via email. What if you wanted to drag and drop um, photos and put them in a text message. Here's how you would do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the um, photos uh, app here and I'm already into an album that I want to use. I'm going to push and hold on the first photo in the upper left corner. You can push on any of them drag them around, but I want to add all of these photos to the text message. So while holding the one photo, use another finger and tap on another photo. Now you'll see we have two. I'll tap on the third. We have three and I'll tap on the fourth. And now we have four photos selected. I'm going to swipe up until we come back into the app library. And now I'm going to select the messages app. And up at the top, I'm going to select uh, new message, 
and you'll see the plus sign appear. I'm going to go ahead and drop the messages. It's going to take a couple of seconds and now you'll see that they're being imported and now all of those are located uh, inside the message. I can go ahead and type out a message below if I want to and send it to whoever I want. So that's how easy it is to drag photos into a uh, message that you want to send. It makes it so much easier than either opening the app and then finding the photo. You can just drag all the photos you want and drop them into the message. You can also use this technique to drag and drop multiple screenshots. So let me show, show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and screenshot another piece of that text. And I'm going to grab a few reviews. And so now you'll see that I have three screenshots in the lower left corner. And if I push and hold on them, I can drag them around. If I swipe up, I can take those screenshots and say I want to add them to uh, a file folder. If I tap and I find the files folder right here and I'm going to tap to open it, I continue to hold the screen, you know, screenshots down. If I tap on the three dots in the upper right corner, I can actually select a new folder and tap on it to open. And then I can drop those screenshots right into that folder. So that's an easy way for you to take screenshots and drag and drop them somewhere else. This last tip I'll show you on drag and drop is I feel pretty useful if you want to drag and drop multiple apps on your home screen. So if I don't like the order of the apps, um, I can change them but I can do it all at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the apps in the order I want them to appear on my home screen from left to right. So I want the weather widget to appear first, so I'm going to push and hold on it. And once I do, I can start to drag it. And then I'm going to have Facebook, Photos, Heartbeat, Maps, Evernote, Safari, and Spark. But now I want to move them to their own uh, page. So I'm just going to slide over until I have an empty page. And when I drop them, they should be in the order from left to right that I added them. And there you go. That's an easy way for you to you know, move multiple apps at one time in the order that you want them to appear from left to right. Using the drag and drop method is like copy and paste on steroids. Plus, it's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you're willing to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.